Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Owl Athletic Complex at King State College for today's NCAA Division III Men's Lacrosse Little East Conference Championship matchup featuring the number two seed, the Plymouth State Panthers, and the number one overall seed, the King State College Owls. First, the starting lineup for the visitors of Plymouth State. In goal, a sophomore number one, Robert Porter. A senior defenseman number three, Sean Peake. A sophomore attack number nine, Connor D'Elia. A senior attack number 13, Chris Waterbury. A senior midfielder number 14, Jake Burns. A senior midfielder number 17, J.R. Barnes. A senior midfielder number 20, Sam McCoy. A junior long stick midfielder number 27, Chuck Harrington. A sophomore defenseman number 30, Zachary Conrad. And a sophomore long stick midfielder number 42, Blake Barbin. The Panthers are led by head coach Gordon Webb. He is assisted by Kevin McCarthy and Mike Willis. And now the starting lineup for the Keene State College Owls. In goal is sophomore number 44, Chase Chamberlain. A senior long stick midfielder number four, Steve Hamill. A sophomore midfielder number 11, Matthew Lemke. A junior midfielder number 12, Dave Wiedenfeld. A sophomore attack number 14, Joe Nutting. A senior defenseman number 21, Charles Malloy IV. A senior midfielder number 23, J.J. Downey. A junior defenseman number 25, Noah DeGorsi. A senior defenseman number 32, Gabe Cormier. And a senior attack number 41, Bobby Carey. The Owls are led by head coach Mark Terrio. He is assisted by Tom Carmine and Matt Howe. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Hello and welcome to today's broadcast of the LEC Championship game here on the Fenton Family Dealership's Owls Media Network. I'm Tyler DeRosa, joined alongside by Matt Holderman. Today we have the Keene State College Owls going, against, going up against the Plymouth State University Panthers. And for the starting lineups, we're going to start with Plymouth State. As you can see here, we have Sean Pete, Connor D'Elia, Chris Waterbury, Jake Burns, J.R. Barnes, Sam McCoy, Chuck Harrington, Zachary Conrad, and Blake Barbin, and in goal is Robert Porter. And now for the home team, Keen State Owls, we have Steve Hamill, Matthew Lemke, Dave Wiedenfeld, Joe Nutting, Charles Malloy, J.J. Downey, Noah DeGorsi, Gabe Cormier, Bobby Carey, and in goal, number 44, Chase Chamberlain. So, obviously, Matt, this is the one and two seeds here of the LEC tournament. Should be a very... Um, 
Very interesting game here. Right, yeah, it should be an exciting matchup. You know, the uh, the historic rivalry between Keene State and Plymouth State, and these are the two best teams in the conference. This is the best championship game you could ask for. Yep. Barnes and Lemke starting the faceoff. And that is won by Lemke. Lemke passes that over to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld loses in the backswing, and that is shot way high and to the right by Steve Hamill. I was being aggressive right away. Should be interesting to see who gets on the board first. We saw in uh, both their semifinal games yesterday, Plymouth and Keene got early leads. Who could eke out ahead early here? Yep, and Plymouth State able to clear it up, and that is lost, and it's going to be picked up by Cormier, and the whistle will blow, and it will stay with Plymouth State. The far side is Burns. Burns passes it over to Gagnon. Gagnon driving almost tripped up there, and that's picked up now by Downey. Yeah, and Keen was ready for it. We saw that a lot yesterday. Kind of Gagnon will step back and almost play the point, if you will, and charge yep. in. And the Owls were ready for him. Yep, and we have a penalty coming here. This one is going to be on the Panthers. It's going to be a delayed penalty. I'm sure, I was gonna, the Owls are going to try and still get a goal out of it. Nolan on the near side. Nolan works behind the goal. Nolan in front to <clears throat> Marcella. Marcella's shot will be saved there by Porter. And now we're, let's hear word on what this penalty is for. This is going to be on Joe, excuse me, this is going to be on Jake Burns of Plymouth State for offsides. Yeah, Jake Burns should be one to watch for today. He got a pair of goals yesterday against the Beacons. Likely be effective down the stretch. Yep, I'll start with the 32nd man advantage. Here's Nutting. Nutting passes it over to Wiedenfeld. Back to Nutting. Nutting, shot will be wide. Go to Bobby Carey, and Bobby Carey's going to try and keep it in bounds. And that ends up being picked up here by Harrington. The Owls are keep it. Nutting brings it in. Nutting passes it up to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld, shot will, believe, be blocked here, but it's still picked up again by the Owls. 70 seconds on the shot clock. Nutting, Wiedenfeld, Wiedenfeld shot high. That was looking good here so far, Tyler. They've had plenty of opportunities already. Yes, they have. Expect the Owls to possibly strike here, put themselves on the board first. Yeah, Wiedenfeld's being aggressive. Wiedenfeld works behind the goal, pass it to Carey. Carey up top now to Nolan. Nolan shots, Nolan scores. Owls get on the board for us, 1-0. Yeah, just like that. That's how easy it is. First couple minutes, and the Owls get the early lead. Yep. We saw this yesterday with the Owls. The Owls got up, out to a. 2-0 lead, but just like that, um, UMass Dartmouth was able to <laughs> come back and get a 5-2 lead. Yeah, and the Owls certainly don't want a slow start like that again today. Plymouth State is a stronger team than UMass Dartmouth, of course, as they made it to the championship here today. Yep, here's Wiedenfeld with it. Wiedenfeld behind to Carey. Carey slowing it down a little bit. And it's the same with Plymouth State, too. They don't want to get down too much early. The Owls, a strong team. Yep. Nolan. Nolan forced to the side, gets it to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld behind the goal now. Wiedenfeld works in front. Wiedenfeld gets it back to Carey. Sorry, Nolan. Nolan scores again. And there it is. Owls. Nolan. Owls get out to an early 2-0 lead here. Nolan that? already has two goals. Yeah, back-to-back -back for Nolan. Don't believe he got any in the in the semis yesterday, yep. but two already today. Yeah, Solid Nolan, job. 
I believe Nolan didn't act, didn't even play yesterday. Right. And again, here's Lemke and Barnes. This is one by Lemke. Interesting strategy. Went to uh, their own side of the field off the face off there. I guess the ball was rolling that way anyways. Yeah, but I believe they what they were doing is they were getting um, they had a line change and that's lost by Wiedenfeld and that pass will be out of bounds for Plymouth State. I always get it right back. Now, as we mentioned, the Owls started yesterday with a 2 nothing lead. It'll be interesting to see how they handle it here. Can they keep the momentum going early or will, the, uh, will we see a shift in it? Yep, here's Morgan. Morgan passes it back. Shot taken, Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld met right at the goal by Pete. Morgan with it. Morgan, far side, gets it to <coughs> Norris. And that behind Frisky, Frisky to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld up top to Norris, whistles blow. And they're saying Nutting was in the crease. Yeah, bad mistake there by Joe Nutting. It could have, would have been a, possibly a goal by Wiedenfeld. And Plymouth State trying to clear it. Pete with it. They have five seconds to clear it. And that's just up to Luongo. Luongo shot. Luongo's shot goes wide. And taking it back to yesterday again, Luongo was the man for the Panthers. He yep. got a double hat trick. Six goals against the Beacons in the semis. Watch for number 28 in the green there. Gagnon near midfield here. Gagnon is met by Norris. Adding pa pass that to Elkins. Elkins on the far side trying to keep it in bounds. He's able to keep it in bounds. Gagnon passes that to Burns, and Burns' shot will be saved. We have whistles here. And Plymouth State is, is going to end up keeping it. Here's Burns. Burns forced behind the goal. Passes it to Delia. Delia to Waterbury. Waterbury to <coughs> Luongo. Luongo's pass pass goes right into the net of Hamilton. Hamilton racing downfield. Hamilton passes it over. I was moving around. That shot will go <laughs> will bounce and go wide for the Owls, and we have a penalty here. This penalty is going to be against the Panthers. One minute, number three. It's going to be a one-minute penalty against Sean Pete. It's going to be unnecessary roughness, so the Owls have a one-minute man advantage. The Owls have been putting a lot of pressure on Plymouth State all day. Yeah, if the Panthers could kill the one-man advantage here and keep the Owls only ahead by two, that'd be good for them. A 3 nothing lead for the Owls early would really bode well for them. Yep, Owls swinging around. Nolan passes it to <coughs> Carey. Carey back to Nolan, over to Marcella. And that will be a turnover against the Owls. Yeah, Joe Nutting looked like he missed the pass there. He's had an early struggle or two here in the game. But we know how he is on offense. He'll likely turn it around at some point here. Yep. He's tripped up there. And that is cleared by Conrad. But Conrad ends up losing. And now Keen State picks it up again. Yeah, Plum forcing State. him out of bounds. Yeah, Plymouth State has had very little offensive opportunities here. But either way, here is Nolan Nolan pass it to Marcella. Got a flag on the field. It's going to be on Plymouth again. And here is Marcella. It's 
Sloan, a down shot taken. Saved. And we're going to have a... I believe it's going to be offsides on Plymouth, waiting to see who it's on. Yeah, might as well, if you're Marcella, go for the free shot there. If you know the penalties on Plymouth, you're going to get it back. So... going to be on Chris Waterbury. 13, I guess, or 30. What number is the penalty? And now we have a timeout coming. We're going to take it with them. We're going to be right back on the Fenton Family Dealerships Owls Media Network. We're back after this, after that timeout. So the Owls again with the one-man advantage here. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Yep, 30 seconds, though. Shot scored. That's going to be by Bobby Carey. Owls up 3 nothing now. That was a nice job right there. Joe Nutting found Carey right in front of the net. Carey yeah. sort of faked one shot to fake out Porter, the goalie, and then put it in right behind his back. Nice job by yep. Carey. Yep, and the penalty clears now after that. Now we see a new player here in the faceoff, uh, Chuck Harrington for the Panthers. And smart move. Burns hadn't won a faceoff at to this point. And this is one again by Lemke. Lemke gets that over to Cormier. Cormier all the way across the field on the far side to <coughs> that's Keegan. And it's going to be a turnover on the Owls. You know, Tyler, as far as the face-offs go, you know, yesterday Plymouth State really struggled with them, too, against UMass Boston. Wish I could have seen the Panthers play yep. more this season. I wonder if that's been a struggle all year for them, winning face-offs. The Owls certainly look better on face-offs today. Okay, she's up top. You can go up there. Is that a clear? I missed that. Okay. Waterbury passes that to Gagnon. Gagnon up top, passing it over to Elkins. Coogan comes right up to Elkins. Elkins breezes right by him. Elkins passes it back to Delia. Delia behind the goal. Trying to put on the brakes, and it's turned over. Owls get it back. This is <clears throat> Nolan able to clear it himself. Nolan looking to take it himself. Nolan races, scores. Four nothing here. Man, and how about Connor Nolan, an early pick for MVP here? He's got himself three goals yep. in the opening ten minutes. Yes, it is. So 
Lemke still in the faceoff for the Owls. I don't think he's lost a faceoff yet, and he wins this one again. Lemke to Downey. Downey to Carey. Carey fa passes back to Marcella. Marcella slows everything down while the Owls make some changes. Fritchie, Fritchie gets it over to Carey. Carey back to Fritchie. I was swinging around here. Shot, nope, excuse me, that passes back to Malloy, Shane Malloy. Nutting to Fritchie, Fritchie over to Carey. Carey passes it behind to Wiedenfeld. I was swinging around a lot here. Shot taken there by Fritchie, will be wide. I was moving around. That pass will be right up to Fritchie. Fritchie's shot will be saved by Porter. Yeah, nice job by Porter there in the net. Blocking the shot. Yep, now able to clear it here is Harrington. I think that was key. This will now give Plymouth State a chance to get some momentum or not. Yep, this is turned over. I always get it back. And that's packed. Pass back to Shane Malloy. I was able to successfully clear it. Here comes Marcella. Marcella gets that over to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld takes it behind the goal. Wiedenfeld to Carey. Carey to <coughs> Nolan. Back to Nolan here. Nolan to Carey. Carey back to Wiedenfeld. Behind the goal. Up front to Shane Malloy. Shane Malloy's shot is going to be saved by Porter. And oh. his pass will be away, and they're saying it's going to be offsides, I believe. Nope. Excuse me, it's just going to stay Owl's ball. Again, a nice save by Porter. Yep, behind the goal. Shot taken by Shane Malloy, saved by Porter again. Turnover again, shot off the crossbar for Marcella. But the Owls get it right back. Owls doing a great job grabbing the... Getting the rebounds. And Plymouth State getting some lucky breaks the last couple of plays here. But Keene State keeps getting it back. Now with a new shot clock now, Marcella passes it to, excuse me, Nolan passes it to Marcella, back to Nolan. Nolan up top, up top taking his time, just over four minutes remaining here in the first quarter. <coughs> Nolan passes it to Carey, Carey to Wiedenfeld, behind the goal. I was swinging around, passing back and forth. That will be on the ground. That's turned over, picked up by a Plymouth player, and whistles blow, and the Owls are going to be getting it right back. Hmm. wonder what the call was there. I believe it's something about the crease, but either way, Marcella passes it to Nolan. Yeah, it looked like the Panthers just kind of picked it up cleanly and got the turnover, but obviously there was something wrong about it. Yep, now here's Nolan. Nolan thinks about shooting, pulls back, pass it to Marcella behind to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld. Oh, damn. That shot will be us. That shot will hit Wiedenfeld behind the goal, being wide, and now the Panthers are able to clear it up. Panthers need to get something here right now. The Owls have controlled the entire game so far. If Plymouth State... Wants to start closing the lead. They got to do it now. The Owls will keep eking out ahead otherwise. <clears throat> Here's Burns on the far side. Pass it to Delia behind the goal. Waterbury. Waterbury. Bad pass. Loses. And this is... Almost picked up by Wiedenfeld, and yep, it's going to be a turnover. I always get it here. Racing up field, and that shot, that shot will go wide. Nope, excuse me, it was supposed to be a pass to Downey, but it will end up being out of his reach. will go out of bounds. Two and a half remaining here in the first quarter. Yeah, and lucky break here for the Panthers to get the turnover. That, that missed past hurt, uh, that last play. 
It was their first chance to score and put some points up in a while, but still haven't done it. That was passed over to Barbin, six seconds to clear it, and they're able to clear it. Here's Burns on the far side, passes it up to Waterbury. Waterbury behind the goal. And forced to pass it to Delia. Delia to Luongo. Like you said yesterday, Luongo had a great game. Six goals on the day. <clears throat> this is one. shot taken there by Delia. Delia gets the goal. Make it 4-1. Yeah, saw it right there. It was a perfect opportunity for Plymouth State. I believe Gagnon was right by the side of the net, and he had a couple teammates in front of the yep. net in great position. Passed it off to Delea, and there's the Panthers' response. I think that's exactly what they needed to kind of show some fight in this one. That's the first we've seen from them. I agree. And this faceoff is won again by Lemke. Lemke is racing forward. Pass it over to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld behind. Shot taken there off the off the post by Carey. Wow. Shout out again to Robert Porter. The Owls were passing it left, right, left, right, and he was still ready for it. And some Keen State defenders meet that. Plus they play right. In the middle there, shot taken, score! J.J. Downey, J.J. Downey responds with a goal of his own. Number 23, J.J. Downey. With 1.06 remaining, J.J. Downey gets a goal. Yeah, just like that, Tyler, the Owls making sure that Plymouth State goal didn't matter at all. Their, yep. their response, the Owls still in complete control. And this one is won here by <coughs> Elkins, and it's turned over. Owls get it right back. Just under a minute to go. That's another missed opportunity for Plymouth State, I think. You know, winning faceoffs turns into chances to score, but not like that if you turn it over immediately. Yep, and that's to <coughs> Carey, and this is... Still Owl's ball. Marcel up top. <clears throat> this is Nolan. Nolan trying to work past the defender. Nolan takes a shot right off the side of the post. And Wiedenfeld tripped up there, but he keeps it. Wiedenfeld passes it up to Shane Malloy. They got 10 seconds. <clears throat> Shot taken wide by Nolan Owls. Keep it with four seconds left. They do have a chance here to <clears throat> score quick. Quick pass and score. Shot taken by Nutting. Nutting shot mm. will go bounce off the ground and go wide. Owls had a great opportunity to score there to end the quarter, but the Owls go into the second quarter leading 5-1. We'll be right back on the Fenton Family Dealerships Owls Media Network.
And back now for the second quarter. Obviously, Field is switched around. Lemke looking to win another faceoff. I don't think he's. I think he's only lost maybe one faceoff so far today. And they're fighting for, and this one is won again by Lemke. Lemke decides to take the shot right away and bounce right into the waiting net of Porter. Oh, blocked by Nutting. That's, yeah, blocked by Nutting, and Owls pick it up. Open goal scored by, excuse me, by Bobby Carey. Bobby Carey. 17 seconds into this second quarter. Pretty much an open, open net goal. Well, Tyler, make, I'm not sure how to analyze this one other than, you know, Owl's dominance. Yep, I was making a, I was making a change up here. Michael Shank will take the face off instead of <coughs> Matthew Lemke. Whistle blows and the Owls will get it. I guess it's gonna be it's offsides on Elkins. Whistle blows again. Now it's going the other way. Not sure why. <clears throat> Either way, here's Gagnon. Gagnon passes that to Mercier. Mercier behind the goal, working in front, tripped up, slides, loses it, and Chamberlain picks that up himself. Yeah, and we've seen that play a factor into this game a little bit today. The, the wet field, it was a bigger factor yesterday, but still damp from the rain yesterday. Yep, shot taken there, saved. <coughs> that shot was by DeGorsey. And the Owls get it right back. Oh, almost right into the waiting net of Shane Malloy. Shane Malloy almost had a open goal opportunity there. But either way, the Panthers get it right back. Here comes Harrington. And they're saying Jake Burns went out of bounds with it. Owls get it right back. And again, you see Plymouth State has to get it together with the passes. You know, that's, that's simple stuff. But they're not able to convert on them and just keep turning it over. <clears throat> Nolan slows it down, gets it up to Marcella. Nolan still slowing it down, 53 seconds on the shot clock, plenty of time. <clears throat> Nolan drives, passes that over to. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was a shot taken by Bobby Carey, and it was saved by Porter. Tell you, despite the score, uh, Robert Porter hasn't been doing a bad job in the net. He's got at least four or five saves already in this one. Yep. Shane Malloy. Shot will go wide right. Over to Norris. Norris up top just came in. Norris looking to drive. Norris shoots and will be blocked. Whistle, go whistle blows again. Owls are going to keep the possession of it with a new shot clock. <clears throat> Behind the net is Nutting. Nutting passes it over to Marcella. Marcella to Norris. Defender Norris gets tripped up behind the back pass to Marcella. Marcella a little high there to Nutting. Nutting behind the back to Wienfeld. Wienfeld scores. 7-1. Wow, an unbelievable display of athleticism and talent that time by the Owls offense. You saw behind the back passes, guys jumping up to get it. Yep. And uh, 
eventually a behind the back uh, goal. Yeah, very nice. And now Matthew Lemke back taking the face off. And this is one again by Lemke. Lemke flicks right over to Downey. I was making some changes here as John Morgan with it. Far side here is Carey. Up top is Liam Flanagan, tallest player on this field right now. 6-4. In front is Wienfeld. Wienfeld tries to take a low shot. Blocked. Excuse me. Saved by Porter. Tried scoring again the same way he did last time. Just kind of wrapping around the net. Turning around and putting it in. But didn't work that time. Whistles blow. And I believe this is going to go to Plymouth State. Longo. Longo passes it over to Elkins. Elkins taking things a little slow. Elkins looking to drive force to the side. Spins around. Shot taken. Saved by Chamberlain. Chamberlain made that one look easy. Yep. This one's up to Finnery. Finnery driving. Finnery takes the shot himself. Score! Hayden Finnery. Finnerty. That makes it 8-1 to one in favor of Keene State. Yeah, how about that for Finnerty, a, a freshman defender, and he's got a goal here in the championship game. Yep. There goes Lemke again with the face-off win. Yep, Lemke pass it over to Wienfeld. Wienfeld shoot wide. Oof, man, that would have been the quickest goal we've seen yet. Would have been about five seconds. <laughs> Didn't go, though. Yep, nutting with it. Nutting works in front of the goal here. Works all the way back. And slowing it down, passes it over to Shane Malloy. The younger of the two Malloy brothers. Connor Nolan forced to the side. Connor Nolan shot score. There's another goal for the Owls. 9 1. And another goal for Nolan. Yep. Nolan's up to four on the day. And yeah, Nolan's having a great game so far. And after not playing yesterday, how about that? And Plymouth State is going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. We're going to be right back.
And we're back here. Plymouth State making a little bit of a change of the face-off. We have Chuck Harrington taking the face-off against Lemke. Again, Lemke's only lost about maybe one or two face-offs here. Just under 10 minutes remaining in this first half. And that one is actually won by Harrington. Harrington pushes it up, passes it over, and that's oh. lost in the backswing by Waterbury. Keen State picks it right back up. Here yeah. comes <clears throat> Keegan. Pass over to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld loses it. Scrum, and that's going to be picked up here by Charles Molloy. You know, you hate to see that for the Panthers. They just can't get it figured out on offense. Slowing it down now. Here's Shane Malloy. Shane Malloy to Marcella. Known to Marcella. Marcella shot will be off the left post. Marcella again gets that over, gets that up top to Nolan. Nolan slowing it down a little bit. Nolan over to Carey. Carey behind the net to Wiedenfeld. Back to <clears throat> Al just moving, just swinging around here, waiting for, looking for a good shot. Here's Wiedenfeld. Nolan, Nolan thought about passing it, keeping it a little longer here. Marcella to Nolan. Nolan to Marcella passed over to Carey. Carey shot will go wide right. Nolan again, four goals on the day. Wiedenfeld behind, up top two. Nodding, nodding, shot, scored! Make it 10 1. Yeah, it took some time for the Owls' leading scorer, but there it is, Nutting, as his first of the day. Yep. Like we were saying in the first half, or, or the first quarter rather, Nutting was struggling a little bit, you know, making some mistakes, but he came back here in the second, made up for it. Yes, he did. So 8.19 left in the second quarter here. And this one is won again by Lemke. Lemke gets that up to Nolan. Excuse me, to Carey. Carey here on the far side. <coughs> Picked up by... Conrad. No. I just stopped it. Um, that was the record for Dave. Morgan. That's 37, right? Morgan Warwick. It's behind the goal. What's up? That's his second. Pass to Fritchie. Fritchie gets that over to Flanagan. Flanagan behind to Wiedenfeld. That's going to be right <coughs> out of the range of Wiedenfeld's stick. And turnover, Plymouth State gets it. One thing, here comes Trevor Gannon. Behind the net, shot saved there by Chamberlain. Whistle blows. And Plymouth is going to keep it. And lost that rolls into the Keen State side of the field. Wiedenfeld picks it up. Wiedenfeld just broke the single season assist record for Keen State. And Wiedenfeld scores right after breaking the assist record. Making it 11 to 1, 10 goal lead here with 6.38 remaining. Yeah, we were waiting for a chance to say it there. Ladies and gentlemen, with that last assist by David and here it is. Wiedenfeld, he just broke the Keen State College all time single season assist record. 
And it's just announced that Wiedenfeld breaks the assist record for Keene State in the great round of applause for Dave Wiedenfeld. And that was his own record, too. Yes, it was. Wiedenfeld is fantastic at scoring and also setting setting it up. And again, this faceoff is won by Lemke. I think slows things down a little bit. Passes it all the way over to Downey. Downey letting substitutions happen. Here comes <coughs> Norris. Nutting with it. Nutting looking. Shot taken there. Scored by John Morgan. 12 to 1. Owls are just piling it on here. Owls doing a great job here in this championship game. Well, Tyler, the uh, the tables have really turned for Plymouth State. Remember yesterday, they opened up to a 12-1 a lead over UMass Boston. Yes, they did. And went on to win that. Now they find themselves on the opposite end of that here in the championship. And this one is won by <coughs> Shank. Owls keep winning these face-offs, and that's go that pass is going to be out of Excuse me, that shot is going to go wide. Now, I nutting. Think, uh, that's one of the biggest problems for Plymouth is that Keen keeps winning the faceoffs. Yep. Marcellus' shot will go high, and we have a broken stick on the field. I believe it's a, uh, it's a long stick. I believe it's Plymouth State. Now, Plymouth State does get it back. Can they get something going on offense, though? We only saw them really get it going one time, and that was in the first quarter. Yep, and that's past midfield. They're able to clear it, but nobody's able there to pick it up. Plymouth State turns it over again. The Owls have been giving Plymouth State trouble in absolutely every aspect of this game, even clearing. The Panthers yep. have had trouble clearing it a couple times, too. Yep, five and a half remaining here. Seven. Shh. In front to Nutting. Nutting shoot saved by Porter. I was trying to get it back, though, and After Porter's that. able to get it first, and that pass will be right over the head of Luongo. <coughs> but a Plymouth State, excuse me, uh, Condalia there to pick it up. Shot taken, blocked by an Owls player. Now the Owls going to try and go on offense again. And the Panthers There's actually have someone different in goal. It's Kirkle. Yep. Oh, and that pass will go right to the right of Dawson. Dawson if Dawson was able to hold on to that, he would have been able to score pretty easily. And we have a turnover now. This is nice to see uh, Kirkle in goal. He's a senior this year, so this will be his last opportunity to play goal. Yeah. There's Kirkle now. When did he go in, guys? Did you catch that? Did you guys catch when he went in? Broadcasters? No. I don't think he gave up that last goal, so that's fine. I think he just came in. Now the Owls get it back. Excuse me, we were having a little difficulty identifying when Kirkle came in and trying to figure that one out here in the booth. But either way, Kirkle is in goal for Plymouth State now. Trying to limit the damage. That shot scored by Paul Luongo. And I guess yep. it's no surprise here that Luongo would be the one to do it. Yep. That brings it back to a 10 goal lead for the Owls. still even with over half the game remaining it's such a tall task for the Panthers here we saw yesterday the Beacons got down by uh, 
the same margin. They were able to make a bit of a comeback, but it proved to be just too much. Yep. And this one is won by Lemke again. Lemke forced to pass it back so the Owls can reset a little bit and get set up. It is passed up right into the net of Chuck Harrington. And we have a penalty coming against the Owls. Plymouth State going to go on the advantage. My guess is it's going to be a cross check, but we'll see. It's most likely going to be on J.J. Downey. Yeah, he kind of shoved Harrington out of bounds there. Yep, yeah, it's going to be a push yep. on J.J. Downey. It's going to be a 30-second man advantage for Plymouth State. This is going to be their first man advantage of the game. Now, can they make use of that man advantage will be the question. 30 seconds is a decent amount of time. This will be their best opportunity to score all game. Almost messed it up there. Yep, good job, though, by Mercier being able to keep it. Mercier with it. Passes it up top. Plymouth State passing around fast. Shot taken wide there by Luongo. Luongo looking to add another goal. You feel they might have felt some pressure there to get a shot off before they lose the man advantage. Yep. Five seconds for the man advantage left. And shot right high there by Mercier. And the penalty clears. So close for Mercier. This is one of the Panthers' better possessions so far. Yep. Owls oh. back to full strength now. Now the Owls get it back. That's passed up to Hamill. Hamill is racing downfield here. Hamill's going to take it himself. Hamill's shot blocked. I was going to keep it. Shane Malloy passes it over to Marcelo. Here's Connor Nolan. Connor Nolan picked up by Elkins. And we have a delayed penalty coming. Yeah. Definitely the slash there on Danny Tanner. Yep. Marcella gets that over to now Nutting with it. Nutting looking to work in front of the goal. Nutting shoots, scores. Again, making it 13-2. Nutting. Nutting now with two goals on the game. I'm not sure. Slash number five. This is going to be a slash on Danny Tanner. Oh, he tells the Dylan. Yep, so that's a one-minute penalty for Tanner. I mean, I can hear yep, I was going to go on a one-minute man advantage right after scoring their 13th goal of the game but that's why we with just out. under two minutes remaining here. And this one is won by Lemke, but picked up by Nolan. This is going to blow. We're going to have a timeout taken by Keen State. We'll be right back. We're going to take it with them.
All right, here we go. So 45 seconds on the penalty, 136 on the game clock. Here comes Marcella. Marcella passes it over to Nolan. I was swinging around again. Here's Lemke back to Marcella. Marcella gets it to Nolan. Nolan thinks about shooting. Bobby, excuse me, Bobby Carey. Now, Wienfeld shot saved by Zirk, uh, Kirkle. That was due to get a right back here. 16 seconds on the penalty. Shot will go wide there by Wiedenfeld. Eleven seconds left on the penalty here. I was going to try and get one more shot off, most likely. And that pass will be that ends up being picked up by the Owls. Mar uh, Nolan didn't see that pass. Wiedenfeld right to. Marcella, Marcella scores again, top right, right over the shoulder of Kirkle. 45 seconds left. Lemke's going to hope to win another faceoff. And he's able to win it again. He's also able to clear it. 30 seconds, seconds left. 37 seconds left. And that's lost by Lemke, picked up by Harrington. I was almost picked it up, but he's laid out. Lemke is by a Plymouth State player. We have a Penalty coming here. We're going to wait to see who it's on. It is going to be a penalty on the Panthers. This one is going to be on Sean Pete. For a blocking check, it's going to be a one minute penalty, so we'll roll over to the second, I mean to the third quarter because there's only 25 seconds left here in the first half. Unless the Owls score, then obviously the penalty gets <coughs> cleared. And it looks like the Owls might just hold it for these final 17 seconds. I was just kind of mo passing around, not really doing too much. Yeah, why not at this point? No reason to really score again with a 12-point lead. Yep. Marcelo playing with the defender here. Three seconds left, and Owls will let us go into halftime. So going into halftime, the Keen said Owls lead in the LEC Championship 14-2. to We have 30 minutes remaining in this game. We'll be right back.
All right, and we're back here for the second half. <clears throat> and just a reminder, Keen State is on the still on the power play for the next 30 seconds here. <clears throat> I was moving around again. Here is excuse me. This, here's Marcella. Marcella over to Nolan. Nolan over to Carey. Back Only to carry. 10 seconds on the man advantage. Yep. I was moving around. Here's Nutting. Nutting gets it to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld down low to Marcella. Marcella's shot blocked, but the Owls get it right back. At front two, oh. Nutting. Nutting scores. Excuse me. That was actually scored. That was actually scored by Jordan Cato. I'm sorry, but what was Zell Kirkle doing there? I don't know. He came out of the net trying to chase the ball when he already had two or three teammates after it. That was that was not a smart play. Nope. Not sure. That brings the that brings it to 15 to two now for the Owls to start the third quarter. One thing to mention, Matt, is in this game, the Owls have won 10 of 11 faceoffs. So they are turning these face off these face off wins into goals too. And one again by the Owls. Make it eleven of twelve. Yeah, they're making it look easy out there. Like clockwork. Yes, they are. Now Wiedenfeld forced to slow down a little bit. Carey takes it as the Owls make a change. Pass it over to Shane Malloy. Shane Malloy loses it. That goes right into the net of Bauman. Now, no, no turnovers here. Harrington. No turnovers here for Plymouth. Just get a clean possession. Gagnon's here on the near side. Gagnon looking to drive. Gagnon passes it over to Burns, and that's a turnover. There it is. That's passed up to White. White! With the goal, sixteen to two. Two minutes in, the Owls already scored two goals. This is one again by the Owls. Owls keep winning these faceoffs very easily, too. Pass it to Marcelo. Marcelo rolls that one over to Carey. Carey behind to Nutting. Nutting working in front of the goal. Nutting shoots. Nutting shot will go wide, but it'll go right to Bobby Carey. Now they always have another opportunity. Carey pulls back. Carey passes it up to back, passes back to Nolan. Nolan met by a defender. Here's Shane Malloy. 30 seconds on the shot clock, just under. Shane Malloy over to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld gets it to Nolan, and Nolan gets another goal. Owls to start out this third quarter, scoring a goal a minute right now. Yeah, 
averaging that. And how about Nolan? That's his fifth of the game. Yep. You know, a crazy thing here too, Tyler, is uh, we've had uh, now ten different Owls have scored today after Corbin White got the goal wow. about a minute ago. So ten players. That's incredible. With a goal. That is incredible. And the Owls end up winning that face-off. Nope. Excuse me, the whistles blow, but now Plymouth State's going to get it. Last time Plymouth State had was on offense, they had a turnover on a bad pass. Gagnon got that to Elkins. To Gagnon. Gagnon looking to drive. Gagnon shot. Gagnon's shot will be saved by Chamberlain. That was a nice try by Gagnon. Got to give him credit. Tried driving in himself through defenders. Almost uh, made it work. Elkins trying to work through. Elkins passes that to Luongo, and Luongo's shot will go high. Pass to Luongo. Luongo looking to find something. Luongo hit hard by a Keen State player with whistles blow. And Plymouth State will keep it. Yeah, Luongo took a couple of hard shots there. Almost, uh, you know, he did lose the ball actually at one point. Yep. Lucky it's still with the Panthers. Elkins shot saved by Chamberlain. Man, awesome job by Chamberlain today. He's, he was ready for that. Yes, he was, and Chamberlain taking it far out of the net himself, and he passes it up. That was probably a penalty. Yep, to Malloy, Charles Malloy. On Burns, yeah. Burns roughed up the goalkeeper, Chamberlain. Yep. It is a delayed penalty, so next time that Plum State touches it, that's when the whistles will blow. I was do have a chance here. I was have scored once today on the delayed penalty. That's back to Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld racing in front of the goal. Wiedenfeld get, tries to get it to Fritchie, but it's out of his reach. And now we have Norris. Norris shot, score. Second time I will score on the delayed penalty. I will make Norris now the 11th player to score. I know. The Owls. I'll tell you, this is a championship showing for the ages by the Owls. Yep. And this penalty... This penalty is coming on Jake Burns. I think, I think the penalty is unnecessary roughness. Is there a wiped it off. Okay. And the penalty ends up being wiped off, actually. The penalty was on Jake Burns, though, for unnecessary roughness, but it's wiped off. This is won again by the Owls by Lemke. Lemke outstanding today, Ooh, winning these faceoffs. Almost lost by the Owls, but they're able to keep it. And here's Bobby Carey. One thing to note the Owls, you know, they're still pouring it on. They're not just kind of playing keep away here. Yep. That's stolen away here by Luongo. Excuse me, by McCoy. It is cleared by Plymouth very easily at that. Now here's Luongo. Luongo driving. Luongo shoots wide, and we have a penalty coming. <laughs> this one's going to be on the Owls. It's going to be their sec only the Owls' second penalty so far today. That's going to be on Charles Malloy for a cross check. Now the now the Panthers go on a one minute man advantage. Yeah, let's see if Plymouth State can make use of it. Don't know if they were able to earlier. Yep. Plymouth 
with passing it around here. Here it is. Cha excuse me, but Elkins. Elkins to Waterbury. And they lose it, and that's picked up by Chamberlain. Chamberlain, Chamberlain. forced to take it out of net himself with the Plymouth State players on him. He almost lost it to Delea. Yes, he did, and the Owls are able to clear it. It's DeGorsey. DeGorsey loses it. And that is up to Delea. Delea passes it back. Shot taking wide by Waterbury. I now like Plymouth. what I saw out of the Panthers there. That was pretty good. Just couldn't find the back of the net. Yep. Plymouth State trying to put some pressure on the Owls. I don't know how much pressure they'll be able to put on Keene State. The Owls have dominated this entire game. Yep. And the penalty is about to clear for Charles Malloy. And shot goal there yes. for Plymouth MVP. State. I believe it's, it's going to be Waterbury. by Chris Waterbury. It was just this time expired, so I'm giving that man up. 18-3 to three now. And this one is won by Elkins. Shot score! Delea. Delea makes it 18 to 4 for Plymouth State. Plymouth State has two goals so far this quarter. They only scored two goals all of the first half. Yeah, and for the first time, honestly, really all game, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of the Panthers here the last uh, minute or so here. They've looked yep. strong, really, for the first time today. Let's see if they can keep it up. And in the faceoff is Michael Shank, and it's going to end up being won by Plymouth State, though. <laughs> All four of the players that were chasing after it just kind of ran by it. Yep. See, now that Plymouth State is winning some face-offs, maybe it'll help them. Face-off wins tend to lead to goals. Waterbury. Waterbury gets it over to Mercier. Mercier, forced to the side of the goal, decides to go behind. That passes to nobody, and it's going to be out of bounds off of a Keen State player. Looking to get something going. Here's Luongo. Luongo passes it nice. up shot top save. to Delay. Delay a shot will go wide left. And they'll have nine seconds on the shot clock when they get back to it here. Yep. And Plymouth just decides not to shoot it. Now the Owls. Whoa! Wow. From oh my beyond mid. From me. Wow! I'm sorry. Noah DeGorsey scored that How from that beyond happen? midfield. He, d he just tried to clear it. He rocked it up there and went right past Kirkle. From three quarters of the way downfield. What, what happened? Unbelievable. I mean. Can the Owls do anything wrong? They can't. They can do no wrong today. I'm. 
that's just kind of a um I'm speechless. That just kind of shows how good the Owls have been so far this game. Wow. Wow. No words for that. And this one is won by the Owls, picked up by Hamill. I'll tell you. Tyler, doesn't that goal really sum up the day so far for the Owls? Yes, it has. Unbelievable. Now here's racing upfield is Medeus. Medeus scores, I believe. Yeah, that's Medeus. Make it 20 to 4. Oh, yeah. oh my god, the Owls sideline too is just going crazy. Dude, I've lost track as to how many Owls have scored now. I know. <laughs> 14 of them maybe? Yeah, the 13 Owls are just 14? pretty much flexing on Plymouth State right now in oh. this championship game. No doubt, that's exactly what Dick Orsi did, literally, and with the goal. And you thought Plymouth State was starting to like, get something going, and you don't know if they are going to start making a comeback, but they were starting to get something going for sure. But Keen yeah. State, just like that with, that, with that goal from beyond midfield, and then another goal by Medeus. Yeah, they showed some strength for a bit there, but then right after that, the Owls went back to work and exposed their weaknesses. Uh, they switch off. And this one is going to be won by Plymouth State. Flicked over to Elkins, and that's lost. Keen gets it back. Weston Coogan gets that to Marcella. Marcella rolls that to Shane Malloy. Shane Malloy passes it to Nolan. And that pass will be right out of reach there of Cato, and it's going to go the other way. Man, you know... I'm trying to wrap my head around that goal. Just an idea of how crazy that was. Like, it, DeGrossi was three-fourths of the way downfield, and you can see how small the net is, you know, yeah. probably five feet across. He had to shoot that so perfectly to get it. Yep. That's a shot I wouldn't have even thought to have taken, <laughs> but that was amazing. Plymouth State able to keep it. We do have a Plymouth State player down. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back.
All right, we're back after that one. Columbus State does have it after one of their players unfortunately goes down. Elkins passes it to Waterbury. Waterbury shoots in, scores. Nice to see that. That's good. Make it 20 to 5. I think Waterbury uh, is now the first Panther today with multiple goals. Yep. Nice for him. Oh, God, this recap's going to be fun. Waterbury also in his uh, senior year here, so a great, you know, good way to go out with a couple goals in the championship game. Of course, not the result that they wanted so far, but... I think Abe asked him how to say his last name. <laughs> And this face-off is won by Plymouth. Four and a half remaining in the third quarter. That's lost by a Plymouth State play, and that's picked up here by Corbin White. And it's turned over again. And won by the Owls. Dawson behind the goal, and Owls... Reset it a little bit. Morgan with it. I was putting a few of their depth players in now. It's and that shot will be on the ground by Dawson. Will roll wide right. And that shot will be wide right, excuse me, wide left. <laughs> to say the least. Wow. Excuse me, they're going to say it was a pass, so Plymouth State gets it back. <laughs> and that's lost there off the hit by Cato. Cato has it. Cato shoots, scores. 21 to 5. That was just pouring it on. There's another player that adds a goal. I actually think that was Kato's second of the day. But yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, you're right. It was Kato's second of the day. Yeah, for Zell Kirkle there, the Panthers goalkeeper, not much you could do. He was really one on one there against Kato. Yep. Yeah. Kato easily wins that battle. This one is won by Plymouth, flicked back to McCoy. <laughs> On the far side, now passed over in the middle to Luongo. Back to Luongo here. Luongo looking to drive. Luongo passes it over to Elkins. And we have a delayed penalty coming. Shot score by Luongo. Panthers goal score by number 28, Paul Luongo. No goal. Now the penalty is white. And that penalty by the owl is going to be wiped off after the goal. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. 21 to 6. Oh, and another thing to mention too, Tyler. Uh, earlier today, the uh, women's lacrosse had some semifinals action in Plymouth State. Uh, yep. Another Plymouth versus Keene game. Uh, Plymouth State was able to win that one, 15 to 5. Yep, great um, season by the Owls. Right, yeah. So, yeah, Keene State, <laughs> solid season. For the women's lacrosse team, made it all the way to the semis. So, I'd like to congratulate them on a a good yep. season. This one ends up being won by Plymouth. Plymouth has been winning the past few faceoffs.
Taking it in front now is Burns. Burns forced to pass it back to Gant Gagnon. Gagnon pass it over <coughs> to Mercier. Gagnon and Mercier going back and forth, far side and near side. That's a pass to Waterbury, a hard hit by a Keen State player, and that shot is <coughs> saved by Chamberlain. And now we have a turnover again off the pass that's a little too far, and Plymouth State comes away with it. Racing now upfield is <coughs> Conrad, and shot scored by Delea. Twenty-one seven now. Waved off. All right. You want to say thirteen? I believe there was a penalty, but it was waved off after the goal. And one by Shank. <clears throat> Here's Nolan, Nolan to Marcella. Marcella thought about passing it to Malloy, but gets it back to Nolan. Just under a minute to go in the third quarter here. Nolan looking to drive. Nolan shoots, scores again. Nolan is a one-man wrecking crew so far today. Without a doubt, double hat trick for Connor Nolan in the championship game. Yep. Make it 22 to 7. I was getting close to how many they scored last year against Eastern Connecticut. It was 24 to 8 in last year's finals against Eastern Connecticut. The year before that, they scored an unbelievable 28 goals in that one game. All right, yeah, we were looking at that. I believe that's the record here in the Little East Conference Championship game, record high of 28 that the Owls put up two years ago. Yeah, since 2001, that's the record Yeah, they'll have high. a chance to break that today. Yes, they, they, yes, they will. That will go out and will be go in favor of Plymouth. They have just under 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. <coughs> Plymouth State, I'm sure, going to try and get one more goal heading into the fourth. This guy could do it. Waterbury. Waterbury lose it. That's picked up by the Owls. Whistle blows. Plymouth keeps it. Mm. And that's saved yeah. by... <coughs> Chamberlain to bring us into the fourth corner. Final 15 minutes of play at the end of three. The Owls lead 22 to seven. We'll be right back.
our first uh, f uh, fourth quarter. And the Owls make a change in goal. Alex Fawcett now in goal. And we have Plymouth State player down. I believe that is Casey Elkins. He's able to get right back up, though. Yeah, we're going to have a penalty coming for the Owls. It's going to be a penalty on Soren France of the Owls for 30 seconds. So Plum State goes on the one-man advantage for 30 seconds. Plum State passing it around here behind the net now is Gagnon. That's hit away by an Owls player. Didn't get to see who it was. Whistle blows, and it's going in favor of the Owls. That's passed up to Cormier. Cormier shoots, scores from <coughs> far away from the goal. 23-7. to seven. Another new owl has scored in this one. Yep. Is there an assist there? Yes. I didn't see. That was even, right? Yeah, because their penalty was close. The owl's penalty clears at the perfect time, too. The Owls win this faceoff, and that pass will sail right over the head of Cato. The Owls get it right back off the turnover. Almost loses it again, but it's picked up here by White. Hell's moving around. Here's Fritchie. Fritchie passes it to Norris. <coughs> Norris pulls back, back to Fritchie. Fritchie over to Morgan, and that shot will sail wide. Shot taken, Fritchie. Hi. You don't think we're going to get one more? No, I don't think it's going to be 24 7. Oh, yeah. And that's passed all the way up out of reach there of Tanner. And it's turned over. I always get it right back. That's turned over there. We don't have 33. No, oh, I have no idea who that is. Then. Number 33 on the Owls. That was the turnover. Uh, don't know who number 33 is on our sheet. We don't have a number 33, but we'll see. That's all right. Who is number 33? He's not on the roster. Plymouth State in the their attacking zone here. Dylan, when you get a chance, Chris Waterbury. Who number thirty-three is? He's not on the roster. Yeah. 
And this whistle is going to blow. For us. There's a kid wearing 33. He has a long stick. Shot taken there. Blocked by the Owls. And it's picked up by Belowski for Keene State. Belowski, excuse me. Here's Liam Flanagan on the far side. Got it. He's just like not on the roster for some reason. Well, he's number 27. Yeah, he's number 33. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Shot will be far wide there for Norris. 11 minutes to go. That whistle blows the Owls. Keep it. <laughs> Flanagan, his big body, shoots. Saved, I believe, there by Kirkle. That shot will be saved again by Kirkle. That pass is right out of reach there of Luongo. And Plymouth State able to keep it in bounds and not turn it over. Shall be wide. Here's Mercier. Mercier passed that over to Elkins. Now Elkins with it on the far side. And that shot will be saved there by <coughs> Fawcett, Alex yeah. Fawcett. Nice job by Fawcett there. Yep, in replace of Chamberlain. Chamberlain's been outstanding so far this game, but See if Fawcett can keep it up. Shot will be saved there by Kirkle. How about Kirkle? He hasn't been doing too bad over the last uh, couple minutes here. Yep. Get himself a couple saves in his last game. This is pass to Thurston. And that pass tried to get it to Dawson. It's going to be hit away by Plymouth, but Dawson able to come away with it. Shot will be wide left there by Dawson. I was passing it around. Here comes Tanner. I believe that goes right into the net of Kirkle after the turnover by the Owls. Elkins was then on the far side. Elkins looking to drive here. Elkins pulls back. 43 seconds on the shot clock. Eight yeah, minutes to go. And the no, now 23, then. Plymouth State makes a change in goalie. Zell Kirkle is out, and Patrick Griffin is in. Another senior goalkeeper. Going to give him a couple minutes here in his last game. That shot will be saved there by Fawcett. Their 
are sneaky with their goalie changes. They're sneaky with their goalie changes. I love how Dylan does a response to that and just shakes his head. Yeah. <laughs> Flanagan picked up by McCoy. Here's Fritchie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flanagan's driving here on the far side. Pass <coughs> passes it to Cato. Back to Flanagan. Flanagan works in front of the net. Pass will be blocked, and that shot will be wide there by Dawson. Fawcett's shot, sorry, Fritchie's shot will go wide on the ground. Dawson's not able to beat the shot clock, and that's going to be a turnover. Plum State gets it. That's passed all the way over to Conrad, and Conrad almost loses that. Four seconds to clear, and they're able to just clear it. Burns behind the net. Burns trying to work in front of the net. <clears throat> Passes it up top to Delea. Delea loses it. Owls get it back. Nope. And that's going to be hit right on over to Elkins. And now Plymouth State does end up keeping it. And behind the back shot will just be high for Delea. Wow, lots of things happen right there. Plenty of contact and uh, the missed shot by number nine. Yep. That shot will be a goal Elkins. for Casey Elkins. Panthers goal is for number 44, Casey Elkins. With exactly five minutes to go in the game, Casey Elkins scores Plymouth's eighth goal of the game. This one is going to be won by the Owls. Oh, and Keegan gets it, whistles blow, and now Plymouth State picks it up. Riley Roy on the near side trying to find an opening. Riley Roy shall go wide right. <laughs> His burns forced further and further away from the goal. Shot scored by Burns. Let's make it 23-9 with four minutes to go. 
Panthers goal scored by number 14, Jake Burns. And this is one by J.R. Barnes for Plymouth State. Passed over to Roy. Roy on the near side passes it back to Mercier. Mercier looking for an opening blocked by the Owls. That's passed up. Shot. Goal by Tewksbury. Yeah, how about that? Tewksbury gets the goal in his last game. Yep. Nice. Yeah, definitely a good. That, that very nice for Tewksbury. Like you said, this is one of the seniors of this Plymouth State team. Right. Yeah, you know, if I were. Uh, Plymouth State. I'd love to see in this, this last three minutes here. Just play all the seniors, you know. Yeah. The game, it's already, you know, been lost. So give them a couple, a uh, couple more minutes for their careers on the field here. I agree with that. Three and a half to go, just under. And this ends up being won by. Shank, Shank's shot will go wide right. Bunnell passes it back to Thurston. Owls taking their time. They know they can waste almost as much time as they want. Here comes Morgan. And that... They'll go out of bounds. I believe they're going to call the shot by Cato. Uh, Bonnell has it. Yep. Thurston with it on the near side. Thurston working towards the goal. Thurston pushed off to the side, and that shot will be off the crossbar. I was threatening the last two and a half minutes here. Morgan looking to drive. Morgan shoots, scores. No, oh, excuse me. Be off the side of the goal. Saved actually by Patrick Griffin. Oh, it is rolled up to Mercier. Two minutes to go. <laughs> that pass will be high to Gnome. Gnome looking to drive towards the goal. Gnome passes that shot by Burns, and that's just saved by Fawcett. Rushing forwards, goal scored by Owen Keegan. Twenty-four to ten. And players on the Keen State sideline dancing because they know they are just over a minute away from being the LEC champions for the sixth year in a row. How about Keegan? Didn't even need his own number to score, Tyler. Say again, Matt? Didn't even need his own number to I know. score. <laughs> Keegan, normally the number 27. Changing it up for the championship. And that pass will be right out of reach of Dawson.
Columbus trying to clear it, having a tough time here. Still have 10 seconds, though, plenty of time to clear it. And that's go that pass is going to be out of bounds. I always get it right back in the final minute. Now, the Owls most likely just going to play some keep away and wind the clock down. Excuse me. I'll tell you, this was an amazing performance by the Owls today. From the very start of the game, they did not give yep. Plymouth State a chance at all. They were dominant from beginning to end. Yeah, and the Owls matched their goal total from last year, scoring 24. <clears throat> yeah, and this uh, year is actually not even season, but years of dominance continue here by yep. the Owls in men's lacrosse. As the clock winds down, the Owls getting closer and closer to this LSC championship. Only 10 seconds left. Let the celebration begin, Tyler. Yep, and that will do it for the sixth year in a row. Keene State College wins the LEC championship game. The final score of today's game is going to be 24 to 10. Great job by Plymouth State, the number two seed. They were able to knock off UMass Boston in the semifinals game. And now the Owls get an automatic bid into the NCAA National Tournament. So that will do it for us here. Thank you very much for joining us. I've been Tyler DeRosa, joined alongside by Matt Holderman. We're going to stay here, though. We're going to let you guys listen to the sights and sounds of the LEC Championship Ceremony. I uh, hope you guys stay right here. Thank you very much for joining us this season. Hope to see you guys next season. Hope you guys enjoy the the award ceremony. Have a good one, everybody. There's a runner up plaque. There should be, right? There usually is. Yeah, it looks like there's three. I'm going to say most outstanding player, champion, and runner up. Hey, is there a runner up plaque? Okay, so just congratulate them on being runner up. Yeah. 
Gotcha, gotcha. All right, just give me the give me the thumbs up when you guys are ready to go. Seniors did not lose a uh, LAC game in four years. Well, he's three of his, he has three of his medals. It's like the, uh, like the, uh, field hockey team. That's right. The Little East Conference would like to thank Keene State and its staff for hosting this year's Little East Conference Men's Lacrosse Championship. The Little East Conference would like to congratulate this year's runner-up, Plymouth State, for a tremendous year and postseason run. Congratulations to the 2019 Little East Conference men's lacrosse champions, Keene State College. Please join us in welcoming Keene State College President, Dr. Melinda Treadwell, Interim Athletic Director, Dr. Denisha Hendricks, and Keene State College Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Kamal Atkins, as we take a moment and acknowledge the individual members of the 2019 LEC Men's Lacrosse Champion Owls. When we call your name, please step forward and grab your medal. Number one, Shane Malloy. Number two, Michael Fritchie. Number three, John Morgan. Number four, Steve Hamill. Number five, Alec Dawson. Number six, Brian Reese. Number seven, Anthony Marcella. Number eight, Max Thurston. Number nine, Connor Nolan. Number 10, J.J. Tinney. Number 11, Matthew Lemke. Number 12, Dave Wiedenfeld. Number 13, Chase Tanner. Number 14, Joe Nutting. Number 15, Finley Morgan. Number 16, Alex Fawcett. Number 17, Jack Waldman. Number 18, Justin Norris. Number 19, Aiden Bowen. Number 20, Chris Morgan. Number 21, Charles Malloy IV. Number 22, Michael Shank. Number 23, JJ Downey. Number 24, Jordan Cato. Number 25, Noah DeGorzi. Number 26, Weston Coogan. Number 28, Will Kane. Number 29, Chris Bertone. Number 30, Krantz Medias. Number 31, Matt Falconer. Number 32, Gabe Cormier. Number 33, Owen Keegan. Number 34, Soren France. Number 35, Liam Flanagan. Number 37, Paxton Blanchard. Number 38, Hayden Finnerty. Number 39, Ben Bunnell. Number 40, Palmer Belowski. Number 41, Bobby Carey. Number 42, Travis Hamilton. Number 43, Tommy Donnelly. Number 44, Chase Chamberlain. And number 45, Corbin White. And the coaches for Keene State, the head coach, Mark Terrio, 
assistant coach Tom Carmine and assistant coach Matt Howe. Congratulations to all the players and staff on a job well done. The tournament's most outstanding player is awarded to the player that has the biggest impact on its team's games throughout the 2019 LEC Men's Lacrosse Tournament. At this time, we would like to present the 2019 Little East Conference Tournament Most Outstanding Player Award to Connor Nolan. Accepting the 2019 Little East Conference Championship Trophy are the captains and seniors from Keene State College. Please step forward and accept your trophy. Congratulations to the Owls on the LEC regular season and postseason championships. And good luck to Keene State in the NCAA Division III National Tournament. <laughs> 